today we're going to talk about some residential framing. Welcome back to the Somerville Project. Uh, today we are talking about the framing in the old part of the house. We've got everything in the, the addition just about wrapped up. I think all I have left to do is uh, drywall backing and some cabinet blocking and stuff. So uh, we're gonna jump into the old part of the house, the original part of the house and start working on some of that framing. So I'll take you in there and we'll talk about all of our LVLs that we're throwing. So from the addition, we're in the master bedroom right now. Here, we'll zoom her out for you. So this is the master bedroom, and uh, this is gonna be the new master bathroom. So we blew this open. Uh, as you can see, our subfloor is very nice. Should have a nice transition to tile. Uh, then in here is where all of the LVLs get started. So uh, we've got kind of a cool <laughs> hybrid frame going on here. Uh, we were able to use some of our old two by four stock so that we didn't have to uh, first stuff out or cut two by sixes down and we buried our header up here so before there was a window here uh, and then there was just an opening we wanted to slide this opening as far over as possible so we could get a vanity in this section uh, so that's why the LVL is like five feet long for a three foot opening uh, but we used an original stud that's balloon framed all the way up Original stud here is balloon framed all the way up so that we've got our kings, put our jack studs under it, and then filled stuff in here. So that's one. This is going to be the new closet door opening. Uh, this one had a big double window before the front porch was added on, so then the double window just looked into the front porch. Doesn't make a lot of sense, so we closed that up. That's why we've got almost nine feet of LVL here with an opening. Uh, the opening here is going to be a drywall opening, so we're going to wrap our drywall flush to this stud and then turn it and go back, which will leave us just enough room for a 21-inch 20, vanity. Hold on, i got to help Adam. So I think that's that opening. Uh, then all these floor joists were short, so we ended up dropping an 11 and 7 eighths across there. Uh, we were able to get away with a single, which is kind of nice. Um, so... We spaxed it in on this side, we jacked up this side, and then spaxed it in here, and then we cut our things afterwards. So that gets that guy addressed. So then we've got uh, a doorway here. This is, there's, you probably can't really see it, but there's a half bath going here, so there'll be a toilet and a vanity. And then uh, we threw in this blocking here because there's gonna be a barn door. Uh, then all we've got left is we filled in this whole front wall for them because there needs to be no openings into the porch and we're moving right along. So next up, we've got to continue. This is also gonna double as an HVAC chase. So we've got to continue that through the stairwell and into the kitchen. So picking up where we left off, all that stuff is done. Uh, Adam finished up the first window header. So we're trying to get everything uh, nice and supported again while we're here. There's really only one good time to do it. And that's right now. Uh, I got this guy opened up before we, I went camping this weekend, so I was out early, but uh, I got this guy opened up beforehand. So that is a uh, nine inch, I think. I think a nine, yeah. um, which plays nice for drywall. So we'll be able to just span from right there to there. Uh, and like I said, the HVAC runs through there. Um, this is not a header. It's just convenient that that fit. And then we also landed this beam, which is supporting this half of the floor. So you can probably see that they were spliced in no man's land so we've got a beam under that now with some jack studs at either end not this side yet i gotta do those we ran out of lumber uh we finally finished up the demo of the chimney that's what that thing's called i don't know why i was blanking on that so we're gonna get that framed in and close up the floor and then i'm gonna build a temp wall on the other side 
uh, of this thing and then we're going to do a new bottom plate to our opening and then we're going to have uh, like an eight foot opening here that will have an LVL buried up against the ceiling so that is next on the list. The wall delete kit is installed also the temp wall is installed um, we're going to patch in the top plate where it was uh, cut a million times oh geez for uh, HVAC so um, because we're starting over with the HVAC system uh, I'm just going to temp or put the top plate back in and let them cut new holes so uh, we're going to do that and then the beam is going to come out um, to even with this wall so our opening is going to be like just just short of uh, eight feet I think it was like 91 inches or something that looked like but it'll be pretty huge so this one gets a uh, single top plate seven and a quarter double seven and a quarter LVLs and then we'll have to put another inch and a half on the bottom plus like a three quarter ripper I think to get it even with that so we're going to get that stuff going then we can take this temp wall out and hopefully we'll be a little closer to open concept. All right, so trying to go through these and just want to wrap stuff up. So I'm going to wrap up the LVL video so that I can finish edit that and get it uploaded for you guys. So uh, we went through and put in an LVL header box above every window. We still have this door to do, but I've got a new front door to go in. I'm just waiting until the very last minute to do that door because I don't want my subs to screw up the door. Um, LVL header box there, LVL header box there. Like I said, it's kind of goofy because we're trying to use, this is balloon frame, so we're, we're trying to use the original studs as our kings and then drop our jacks underneath wherever we could. Uh, this wall there'll be a video on, so we won't get too into depth, but uh, header box up top. And then the addition, which we talked about, in some of the earlier framing videos, we did the two by six header boxes as well. Um, and then this room, you guys saw at the beginning of this video. So we've got the LVL for the barn door over there. We've got this goofy LVL because we had a window originally and then a door. And then this one for the new opening, like I said, there was a window here and then a door. That'll wrap up the <clears throat> LVL video. Uh, we threw a ton of them, uh, and I also have some of the HVAC started so you can see how that chase is going to shake out. Um, we had to get that HVAC started because the bathroom here, uh, the HVAC needed to be in first before we put the false ceiling in. So. This little half bath is the only bathroom on the whole first floor that has less than a 10 foot ceiling on it. So that one has an eight, but that's fine. So that'll wrap up the LVL video. Uh, I'll get this one put together and put out for you guys. And then there'll be a couple other interior framing videos that will break out and hopefully you guys will enjoy all of the framing because then we're gonna get into less fun stuff like drywall. All right, we're signing off. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe down below.